Okay, you might hear the toilet making air sucking noises. That's proving that this gasket needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. The way to do it is this whole china bowl has to come off. You've got to open up this safety cover. Mm -hmm. You got to get inside there and replace that black rubber gasket. There's actually two black rubber gaskets. So for us to get through the trip today and tomorrow, go back on the switch panel and turn the toilet off. That'll turn off the vacuum pump. Should be 12 volt at the top level. Uh, head pump? Head pump. So as soon as it finishes, the vacuum pump will turn off. And for us to use the toilet the next couple of days, we can scoop a bucket of ocean water up, put the ocean water in here, turn on that switch, flush the toilet, rinse it with a little fresh water from the galley sink, and then turn that switch off. So that's something that we need to be aware of while we're cruising. There's our toilet controls. And because you turned it off, we can't see the light on our holding tank level, but that's what that is. That's our level gauge. So we can get through the trip with no problems, but that's another action item when we get to the boat yard. Is, is that telling you, that'll tell me what I need to pump out? Right. Go ahead and turn the switch on again. And I think it was pretty low. Top panel, bottom left, there you go. Yep, we're at the lower section. And you can hear that screaming again. Yep, so the holding tank's nearly empty, so we'll be able to make the trip and pump it out when we get up to Stewart tomorrow. So we'll be good. So I'm gonna flip it off again? Yep, flip it off. <laughs> 